What's good everybody, Bank626 here again with another Gundam Battle Operations 2. And today we're dealing with the Ifrit Notch Level 1 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Leonardo colors. So yeah, I thought I could try to, you know, do my retro colors again since I like the Star Scream look. I was like, what else could I do? And I, you know, since we got the Ifrit Notch, I was like, hey, you know what? This kind of reminds me of who else could there be? Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, you got, it's obviously a ninja. Obviously has blades, has, you know, single blade and dual wheel blades. And mind you, by the way, guys, I'm only doing the single blade. Uh, I actually kind of forgot to, um switch the blades on this match so I was kind of just like I was prepared to go in here with two blades and I didn't realize until I drew the sword and it was only one blade so that's kind of going to cost me a little bit at the beginning of the matches but uh, overall I, I still like the single blade it's not too bad and you know obviously it's more powerful than the dual wheel because the dual wheel is obviously like two hands and if you use both hands you get more power out of it right so um, that's 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 that for that and what else I gotta say about the E-Free is it's really good too, especially stealth-wise. It's obviously it's it's ninja capabilities, like it's off radar, so you don't even know like this person doesn't even know I'm right above him. Like he didn't know at all until like, he probably saw a little bit of my head and then he dropped down and shot me in the back and that kinda cost me. But um yeah, the E-Free notch is really good. I, I actually like it a lot. I'm probably gonna be play as more. I'm actually gonna bring it a lot more when um the water comes and it's dual blue. Um, dual blade wield, so I'm actually gonna look. I'm gonna actually looking forward to that. So that's gonna be quite interesting to see how that goes. Cause with the water, I'm, I, I'm, I'm assuming everyone's gonna be playing on this one side of the map, really, than the other side, cause obviously new features and everything. So I'm excited for that and Mr. Downswing on that. The thing is though, like when it comes to the single blade, it moves a little bit slower doing its um, like it's down heavy. And it's uh, it kind of gets a little annoying because when you do it with the two, uh, the dual blade, it you know obviously he kind of you know s fully sprawls all over the place and does like you know a full typhoon hit on you and then you know you're on the ground. Unlike here, it's kind of more so it's more cheeky you know so it's kind of like old school with it. Draw the blade two handed and draw the opponent and go from there. So yeah, the beginning is a little rough so kind of bear with me especially with this kunai too like I'm actually surprised I even landed that kunai because honestly I can barely even see the kunai so it's funny how it reaches really far but it's just annoying because you can't really see it so you kind of have to use use your own like instincts or just use that target like right in the middle of the screen to use that to kind of aim for the for your opponent so it's kind of it's it's weird to use and I can't really say buff it or you know add anything to it because this is kind of an unfair unit because you can't see they can sneak up on you do a, a huge amount of damage to your supports and even to generals as well even other mobile suits like if you're not just actually too good and I should know well everybody should know since you were you know dealing with it so much but <laughs> yeah I caught the kunai in the head there I want to see how much damage I can really do with it like the kunai really is honestly just for stagger to be honest not even for anything else and wow do I catch the swing on him or do I miss Ah, oh, yeah, I missed the downswing on it, but I had to get out of there anyways because I was going to die, which you've just seen. But, um, yeah. The e like I said, e just is good. It's just, it's a little wonky when people kind of figure you out and know what to do. Then it's kind of like, what do you do now? But overall, I, I like it. I like it because it's really stealth and you can just kind of just pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. Swing left, swing right, kunai there, kunai here and then just disappear as far as you can, heal yourself, come back, and then do it again. So it's like basically a ninja, an assassin, really. So it's really, it's very good for that, and e you know, just I recommend it. If you see in the store, go ahead and buy it. If you pull it up, then definitely play with it, because it's, I would say it's one of the top raids. Like, the e are, are, are itself are very good. I, I think I prefer the one with the, um, the axe more so even though this one's permanently off radar i think i prefer that one more i do i actually have to make a video about that one too actually it was gonna do something with that but because this one came out nicer and i was like hey you know what and i, I never got to use it see right there that's one thing about i don't like about for the single blade is because when you do you know both your two hits and you try to come up with the third one it's a little bit wonky just to aim that uh down heavy on it <laughs> down heavy i'm talking about fighters here uh, your downswing on it, so it's kind of it's kind of annoying to deal with that. So kind of you have to, it's kind of like you have to turn the mobs a little bit to the side for you to get that full swing on it. And yeah, we're kind of just taking the team now, so it's kind of good for that. Like I will be doing a uh, part two to this video mainly because I wanted to show off the the, the double blades on it as well. Oh no, I threw a of my partner's back, it must have hurt. 
But um, yeah, yeah, I do want to do a part two because I, I never, I haven't really got to practice with the dual blades. I kind of just kind of stuck with the single blade just to see how it really is because I never really like fought anybody else with a single blade. It's always been the dual blade. That's why I kind of forgot that this one can control both of it. I thought it was actually something else. I thought this was like maybe the basic E3 notch and see right there would have got the down heavy, but because it misses by a slight bit, then that person got away and I had to come over here and finish the job. See. But I ended up doing damage to his partner, but still, like, that's a kind of a waste of time, right? So I'm just kind of getting out of there because it's a mash pit in there, and I'm not going to be the one that's on the floor catching it all. <laughs> like, let me just go around. They don't even know I'm around, and hey, there's my support guy right there, my favorite guy the whole game. So, well, he hates me, but I love him because <laughs> I just, like, literally, like, I eat his bar. Like, eat it. Look at him. Gone. I think I did maybe... Four hits on the guy with a, a few bullets, and that's it. Game over for him. So, yeah, the E Freak, especially this map too, very good, very very good. So I would definitely, I would never bring the E Freak notch to an open field because you need buildings, you need you need a, a giant map for it to fully disappear off of it. You know, take advantage of the fact you you turn off radar because if you can't, then you're out in the open. That is kind of like defeats the purpose, especially since you're a raid and you know general types. They're just gonna you know just stop on you. So it's better for you to do this. And like right here, like I'm making this guy like impatient right because I'm like he's either gonna wait for me. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He doesn't even know. <laughs> wow. See, that's what I'm saying. This almost is so unfair, but it's it's not because like you, you know a general can eat this. So, but it is good if you can't find me. So I'm just gonna play games with this guy and just come above him. I'll wait. He doesn't know where I am. Come down off the bridge again, and then there he is. He doesn't even know. Look at him. He doesn't know where I am. <laughs> Catch the sweep. <laughs> Catch the sweep, I'm telling you. Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's what happens when you gloat, right? That's what happens when you gloat. I should have paid attention to the map. I should have went the opposite way, but I guess I felt myself a little too nice catching the kill on that guy, but... Yeah, it's, that's the E-free for you guys, so... Um, only about one minute, well, less than a minute left, and we pretty much took the whole game. It was it was a good fight, though, I'm not gonna lie, it was a good fight, especially even though I was playing kind of bad at the beginning, but overall, it, was, it wasn't too bad of a match, and I'm just kind of calling support just to kill time for my MS to respond, and just see if I can get an extra kill out of here, and then kind of just wrap up the whole game, so... Yeah. Anyways, guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are just watching this for the first time, uh, check out the rest of my videos and you'll be seeing a lot more of my, uh, well, more retro. This is my second retro video, so you'll be seeing that. Like and subscribe to be, oh, see? See what I mean? <laughs> just do a little bit. See if I can catch one kill. I was trying to go for the support right here because I had to change my subject for a second, but hey, you know, if, this is why I like support. If you can add in a little bit more... Then they added a little bit more, and yeah. But like I said, guys, like and subscribe. Bring out some more GBO plays. If you're new to the channel, also like and subscribe. If you're old to the channel, like and subscribe. I'm gonna say it, like and subscribe again, so I can you know keep doing these videos, keep bringing them more out. Like the more I see the likes, the more I see the comments, the more I see the descriptions, the more I can you know bring out a whole bunch more videos. I'm not saying I don't want to do it regardless. I still like doing it regardless, but it's you know it's more motivating when I see the, the results coming in. But anyways, that's just a personal thing. Anyways, guys, see you rise around, and I'll bring out some more GBO plays soon. And, oh, man, I've been getting nothing in these freights. But, yeah.